What's good, YouTube and everybody in the sneak community? It's your boy, it's your man, Lane Jackson, also known as Elite Kicks. I got a new shoe review slash pickup. Actually, I had this shoe in for a little while. Just wasn't able to get to the review. A lot of things going on around the house, work. You guys know how it is. Um, but I'm not gonna lie. I was very happy when Jordan Brand said that they were gonna release the Air Jordan 14 Retro, the Laney colorway. Um, this was the very first pair of Jordans I ever owned in my life. I remember my cousin, he bought them for me and I remember like I was just so happy as a kid to have my very first pair of Jordans. And I think I was like 7th, 8th grade when they dropped back in 99. And um, cause I wasn't even in high school yet. And like I mean I wore those shoes to death and it was just my favorite shoe. I was in love with the colors, the entire shoe period. So. You know, throughout my years of collecting, I said, I can't wait for Jordan Brand to drop the shoe again because I'm going to cop like 40 pairs of them. Uh, but I did not cop 40 pairs of them. I ended up getting one pair just simply because I watched a lot of reviews beforehand and a lot of people said the quality is okay. Um, and I'm not going to lie, when I did get the shoes in, I was so excited about the shoes and just so pumped to have them. I immediately took them out of the box, loosened up the laces, put them on, and I was just highly, highly upset just due to the fact that the shoe was really, really uncomfortable. Now, I don't know if it's because I've been wearing a lot of runners lately, and I've been wearing a lot more comfortable sneakers, um, you know, but it, it was just very, very uncomfortable, and it's to the point where I'm still on the fence if I'm going to keep them. Uh, part of me is probably just going to keep them because I really, really love the colorway. Uh, so, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get to the review. You have your Jordan box right here. I got my receipt. These came from Chan Sports. Retail price on these was 170, which should have been like 120. Actually, these should have probably been like 100 out the door. And here you have it, the Nike Air Jordan 14 Low Retro Laney. Very clean shoe. Like I said, I was slightly disappointed, you know, with the quality of the sneaker. A few things I'm gonna hit on this sneaker real quick because you see plenty of reviews. Uh, I will say the qual like I said, the quality is horrible. It's like a three out of ten in my book. Uh, it just makes me upset because you know Jordan brand. They get on these blogs and they talk about how Jordan makes so much money uh, from the sneakers compared to his NBA career, but it's like the quality of the sneakers suck. And my message to Jordan brand is just like everybody else message. You know what I'm saying? Give us some better quality sneakers. At the end of the day, your shoes still sell out. Even if sometimes they might not sell out on the very first day. They might sell out like within that week, but your shoes will always sell. The least you can do is give us a little better quality. So that's just my rant. <laughs> but uh, other than that, like I said, this shoe is mad uncomfortable. Uh, maybe after a few wears, it'll loosen up because I've been pressing in on the sock line. And I feel like it's getting a little softer. But, uh, you know, I'll probably just end up keeping them because I really like this shoe. A few things I like to say as well. I saw a few videos. A lot of people was like, oh, I don't like the, the yellow look on the midsole. You guys gotta understand, this shoe was actually made like this back in 99. I remember when I had my pair, it had that pearl look, and it actually had like a little bit nicer of a pearl look, because I do remember that. That was like one of my favorite features of the sneaker. And it seemed like this model, it's a little bit like more of a yellow. Um, not too deep, but it just has like a darker pearl look to it. So I wish they would have went with a, just a little bit lighter pearl, but if it was an all white midsole, it would look like straight garbage to me. Uh, so that's how it comes, guys. And I mean, I know it's a lot of newer guys in the sneaker game, they probably really don't know, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, but other than that, it's a very dope shoe. I noticed a lot of Jumpman's, even mine, his hand is swollen. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's just stuff like that that Jordan Brand needs to step it up with, you know what I'm saying? Like, we shouldn't be getting sneakers where it feels like we're wearing bricks. And we shouldn't be getting sneakers where our Jumpman's look like they're on diets. Or they, they've been overeating and their hands look like they're swollen. You know, like, come on, man. Step it up. So, uh, but I did snag a pair. I'm very happy. Like I said, I will keep this. Part of me is just disappointed. You guys don't understand. I'm heartbroken. Over. Hey, when I opened this box, right? Like, I came home. I already, knew the, I already knew the shoes was here. So, I just dropped everything in my hands. I went straight into the box. Lace, loosened up the laces. Put them on. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. I was just sad. <laughs> But uh, it is what it is. It's always a hit or miss with these Jordans. But uh, hopefully somebody in Jordan Brands watching this video and watch all our videos and realize that you know we want better quality. If we're gonna pay 170 to 200 dollars for some sneakers. At least you can do is find your new meal overseas or wherever you get your fabrics from and, and <laughs> get some better quality fabrics for these sneakers. 
Um, but other than that, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do have a review from a uh, package I got from Champs that I got to do. A couple fitness videos that I'm going to do. But if there's anything you guys want to see, comment below. Tell me what kind of videos you want me to do and I'll do it. Uh, also, I will be doing a collab with the homie I Collect Kicks. He lives up here in New York. Uh, me and him probably going to link up maybe this week or next week and we're going to do a collab video. Uh, so stay tuned for that as well. Going to try to just get into these videos a lot more. But uh, other than that, I appreciate you guys' love and support. Make sure you check me out on Instagram. Rate, subscribe, comment. More videos on the way. Peace.